So, I get it all out. I'm just like, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me ready. <laughs> I can't move. Sure, I'm ready. Because I can't ready. move. Is that the timer okay. over? No, no, no. no, 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 no. So first off, tell us a little bit about yourself because you're still fairly new in the game and you've only released one single. So tell us where you're from, what you do, and okay. So I'm Nakaya. I am from LA, okay. and right now I attend the Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music at NYU. Um, I have been working on an EP entitled Out of Breath for close to a year now, and. It would fall under, I would say, the larger umbrella of sort of an ambient alternative kind of folk uh, record. So is that is that how you would want people to classify you, or are you looking to just be outside of this, outside of the genre? You know, at this point, I've always had a hard time. People ask me all the time. I tell them I'm a musician, and they like immediately ask me what kind of music I'm doing, which is fair yeah. and understandable. People are very interested, but I feel that I don't want to classify my music in any particular genre. I always go, well, listen to the song and then you can tell me where you think it would fall. I think it definitely falls under like the large umbrella of alternative and there's a lot of like folk elements, but the best way I can sort of describe it is uh, like a soulful folk. So you only released one song so far, um, yes. Colored Lines, and tell me why you chose Colored Lines to be your kind of introduction into what, what about Colored Lines represented you? Um, well, it was definitely a song that I felt most encompassed what I want to be doing um, and where I want my music to be going. There's a lot of the songs, well, the, some of the songs on the record are quite straight up an acoustic, uh, quite acoustic folk tracks that I like to do mainly because that's how I write my songs with the guitar. And I felt that Colored Lines um, sort of embodied like the mellow um, kind of aesthetic that I'm looking toward for the rest of my music and we felt it was like the most dynamic and interesting single that we had. You said you're in the Clive Davis program but I read that you didn't have any formal musical training before you got here. You even taught yourself the guitar. How has it changed your music going from having no training at all and then now you're and basically your classes are all about making music. How yeah. Um, so now that I'm here, everything around me involves music. And sometimes I listen back to the old things that I uh, have written and horrible, like trash, you, like, things that I thought were good. I don't even understand why I thought were good at Just all. Just like outfits um, when you look at your high school pictures, right? you're like, my parents let me walk out the house. Exactly, like yeah. Disrespect. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, I've only been here for two years, so who knows where I'll be like two years from now when I finish the program, but um, it's exciting to just see so much growth. I still try to actually steer away from music theory sometimes. I've learned a bit now that I'm here, um, and I take a lot of things that I learned from my friends and my peers and just being around this musical environment. You just did it. The way you lose the foot. I cross the foot. That's my like, jam. Right, right, right. right. Shake to that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like a tumbler. I don't really go on tumbler a lot. But it seems like you do. I do tumbler. like tumbler. And I saw a lot of art references and art images. So is art a big part of your life? And how does it influence? Does it influence your music at all? It is. Um, I'm obviously a person who's like very drawn to art. Uh, that's kind of just been a thing throughout my whole life. When I was young, like my parents would be constantly taking me to galleries, and I just started like it. Then I actually did. They yeah. have like the little kitty program where <laughs> so you can like make arts and crafts, and it's like in a very creative way. Like sometimes they would have these programs where you can make a Matisse cutout, you know, like something kind of similar to that. And those things were always really fun for me. Um, I wish I could draw. Like my biggest dream in my head is that. I could draw. Somebody told me that everyone can draw. I it's wish. Just, it's just, it, but they, they well. say that. They say that about everything. They go, everyone can sing. Okay. That may not necessarily be true. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not true at all. But I, I definitely can't draw. I'm terrible. I can draw stick figures, maybe. How do you feel about the new wave of music that's been coming out right now, especially from black 
musicians like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. I don't know if you saw J. Cole's um, recent uh, video. I have it. Yeah, he's actually like a house slave, and then oh, so it's whoa. a whole plantation style video. Oh, How wow. do you feel about um, their them making this type of music, and do you think that you would ever make your music a little bit more political, or if you would step away from the type of music that you're doing to, to deliver a very important message? Yes. Um, so when the Kendrick album first came out, there was so much hype around it that I didn't even want to like Listen, delve into yeah. it because people just wouldn't stop talking about it. They wouldn't stop talking about it. And it's it's a hard listen, like yeah. to go through the whole thing. Like you really have to focus, and it's not like, oh, I'm just like wandering around listening to the new Kendrick album. Thing. Like you have to really take it in, um, and it's gritty, and it's so good. Um, I I love it, and it's all like my parents talk about, and it's all I talk about, and it's really really fantastic, and it's very important, um, and I appreciate that. And yes, like my music is not political right now, and when I feel like I would have the right things to say, I would totally go in that direction.